Hey guys and welcome to another guide and to, for this guide I'm going to discuss speed syncing and uh, I decided to do it today because currently it's free rune removal and we'll just, uh, it, it was easier for me to move some stuff around to show you um, what I mean by speed syncing. So first off let's discuss what is speed syncing. Speed syncing is basically uh, ordering your ordering your units to move a certain way, and also to minimize the gap in between each unit. Um, and I guess the the most important thing to remember when speed syncing is uh, that base speed affects the the order of movement as well. So for example here. This, this is the team, you probably see me use this all the time in Guild Wars. Um, so this team is almost perfectly speed synced before. I'm going to change things this month, but um, just to illustrate with what I was using for the previous month. Um, so Bella was at 212 um, total speed, right? And his base speed is 108, all right? So you have to keep that in mind. Now. Dolphoy is uh, also 212 speed, total speed, but his, her base speed is much lower. And that the reason this is important is because um, we have the speed tower, right? Uh, let me go to this real quick. We have this speed tower that gives you percentage, like, you know, this universal speed for all units everywhere. And this is really important because this uh, this multiplies uh, against the base speed of the unit. So units that have a you know a higher base speed is going to get a bit more benefit out of this, and therefore um, when the unit moves, right, you you know th th they are like a fraction of um, you know a fraction speed ahead. So the game does take into account. Uh, you know, decimals, right? So as an example, uh, I was going to put them back in here. So you, you you could see, like, okay, I'm just going to put Bella in front because um, some people will think total speed, um, once you have the same total speed, it's it, it's affected by which, the way you order the unit. So for example here, both of, both Bella and Del for exact total speed, right? But um, actually no, I should put it the other way. So they're both the exact total speed. So um, Dolphoy is supposed to move first, right? Um, but that's not the case. I'm going to show you here. So you see here, Bella is actually the first unit to move, and that's yeah. That that the whole reason is because of the the speed tower affecting his base speed. And she, he's he's gaining slightly more speed uh, out of that compared to Delphoi, right? So, you know, so Bella moves and then Delphoi moves. Oh, okay, sorry. Violent proc and Delphoi moves, and then Fieldmars moves because Fieldmars is two ten, so he's you know he's definitely going to move last. He's got the, the lowest total speed. All right, so that 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 is. That, that's sort of like speed syncing in a nutshell, you know, um, you want them to be as close as possible so that there's no units moving in between your com combination. So for example in here, I don't want Bella to move, do it, do an armor break and then like a Veromos removes the, the the defense break in between before my nuke, nuke can move, right? I want the defense break to be on and then my nuke can move straight away to, to kill that unit, well hopefully kill that unit. And yeah, that's for that reason. That's why it's very important, especially in Guild Wars, to you know try to get your speed as close as possible. I know for for newer players without as like without you know a lot of runes, this might be a little bit harder. But that, I guess that's that's why farming is so important. You know, getting a, getting more runes so you have more options. And if you run out of space in your inventory, just throw the runes onto stuff that you're gonna put in your storage, um, and then. Once room removal comes along, you can take them out and play around with them, right? Especially with the optimizer, like you can, if you're using the optimizer, it's much easier because they'll just, they're taking into account any any rune that you store, you know, on monsters in your storage. 
Now I'm going to show another thing here, um, and I'm just going to basically debunk uh, a, a myth. So here, the sign has 210 speed, alright? I, I just changed his speed so that he, he matches Filmas exactly. So Filmas also has 210, 210 speed, right? Now, um, I did show you before that even though Bella and Dolphoy move, uh, sorry, they, 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 they move according to the base speed, right? This time, they, these two have this exact same base speed, alright? Now, if you're using Tessarin and Fieldmaster together, you you would prob you would obviously want Tessarin to move first because he's he's gonna oblivion and I'm gonna break something for you and then Fieldmaster kills them after that, right? That's that's the whole idea of using them together. But don't make them exactly the same total speed because uh, as you'll see here, you probably a lot of people are gonna use Fieldmaster as the leader. If you don't need to use Fieldmaster as the leader, like say you have 85% crit rate. All right, on his stats. For me, I use I put him at sixty one. All right, so, so I have to use him as the leader. But if you're not using him as the leader, then it's much easier to keep them at the exact same speeds, right? Um, so here, uh, I'm just going to show you. So since Filma is on the left, right, he's on the leftmost position of the team. He's going to move first, even though they have the exact same speed. Right? See, it doesn't matter how many times I go into this like, with this team. He's going to move um, all the time, like, uh, you know, first. But say if I switch them around, right? Uh, and I'm going to put just like a random leader in front too. Uh, let's just say Diaz. He should uh, Diaz. He should not move, so this won't, af won't affect anything. So now to science in front, right? Uh, I want him to move first, so he's going to move first because he's he's on the leftmost position um, for units that have the exact same speed. So he now he moves first, okay? So to make it a little bit safer for Tessarin and, and Filmas, you try to make you probably want to give Tessarin one more one more extra speed, right? Hopefully you have enough runes to to fiddle around and get him to that correct speed that you want uh, but that's typically how I would approach trying to uh, speed sync your units all right you have to think about who you're going to use that unit with and then you give them you know you, you ruin them towards the speeds accordingly to that uh, particular you know team order and I think that pretty much covers speed syncing. Um, there are other like ways of like other things to speed sync too. Like so let's say you're trying to um, do a speed AO comp like clear, right? So you have something like Bernard, uh, let's say Galleon, and two nukers, right? So for me, uh, usually you probably see me on stream using something like this. Now. Uh, you, for uh, for this team, you need the for obviously your booster, your attack bar booster is going to move first. So Bernard's going to move first. He's going to have X amount of speed. So I have 287, right? The other units following him need to have about 76 of the attack bar when they um, when they move. Um, I'm just gonna, sh just gonna do a quick, quick example, All right? So if you look here, um, I mean, you can't really tell, right? Because um, you can't really, s it's he's sort of like estimating the, the attack bar here. Um, what I found with uh, with these particular units is my Tor and my Pung. Sometimes they get interrupted at this at this kind of attack bar. Um, after Bernard, um, and like so, for my Pung and my Tor, they're at about 200, like low, very low 200 speed. They need a, a little bit more to not get interrupted, right? 
because sometimes there might be a really fast unit on the opposing team like say there's like an enemy Bernard who's say 285 or something speed so he doesn't move first because my Bernard's faster but after I boost he's gonna he'll he'll move because my nukes are not quite as fast as my Bernard or oh, sorry they're not you know fast enough to get within uh, you know uh, the the bar after this so if you actually let me see if I can put this at times one you might better see how close it is uh, yeah okay that, that would that didn't help very much but uh basically when when you do the attack bar boost you have to keep in mind that the enemy is also going to gain a tick of attack bar so basically your unit moves everyone on the field gains a little bit of attack bar as well so if they're really fast they'll move in between if your units are not fast enough now uh, I'll, I'll just show the speeds real quick because it, it really just depends how fast your Bernard is if your Bernard is not if like you say you're gonna slow at 260 speed or something and you happen to outspeed the opponent then that's probably gonna make it easier for uh, your 200 speed nukers to move without being interrupted right because their attack bar is a lot more progressed before the attack bar boost uh, so I'll just show here so my tour here is 203 and my pung is 202 okay and yeah, I've, I've from what I've been, I've been testing this team against a lot of people. I mean, against most people, if they don't have any like super fast, you know, I don't really get interrupted. But if they do have a really fast Chloe or Bernard or something like that, then uh, they do move in between sometimes. Especially with Nemesis runes, that that makes it, you know, um, a lot easier for them to interrupt my combo. So you want to try to make your nukers as fast as possible still. Uh, but you know, within a certain range, will make you should make you relatively safe against things interrupting you. Uh, another, this is another quick example is you might have seen my my double Lucian team uh, that, that I use on stream a lot. I don't really, you know, I don't record it, so it's this is for more for people who watch my stream. But my Lucians here have two hundred and about two hundred and twenty, a little bit over two twenty speed, and they never get interrupted. On turn one and so only the second Lucian sometimes gets interrupted by really fast nemesis users right so I guess I haven't done I haven't done the exact calculation here but um, it, it, it's a I would say to be safe try to get them to around maybe 80 percent within 80 percent speed and then you shouldn't have too much problem with things coming in between because obviously you want your combo to move all at one go because it's the whole point of a speed AO clear all right and I've just been doing this in TOA normal uh, just like a random tip for Rune and Rival Day if you want to test out your speed syncing and um, that the, and you know just like, like the ordering of your units right because you have to be really careful with certain units like such as for me Tors um, Tor's actually faster total speed than my Pung Bake, right? He's 203, whereas Pung Bake has 202. But because his base speed is a lot higher, Pung actually moves first. So, um, especially because I use him as the leader. So, um, I don't know how close, like in decimal points, you know, he is because of that. But yeah, I do find that my Pung does move, even though his total speed is, you know, one less than Tor. So you know, if you if you want to test out a team, you know you, the ordering of units, uh, I definitely recommend to at least clear like the first few stages of of, um, of TOA, and because any stage you've cleared doesn't cost you any energy to enter, so this is really useful uh, just for checking you know team ordering. Okay, so I think that about covers it. If you have any further questions about speed seeking, just let me know. I can do another view video maybe next time I um, I do rune removal. I'm, I usually buy rune removal halfway through, like halfway in between uh, each three, rune, like you know, the actual monthly ones, uh, the events. So uh, I can do also do you know more like a, as version two of this if I missed anything important. 
otherwise I can also answer you in comments so feel, feel free to ask me any questions all right so that's all the time I have for this uh, thank you guys for watching and I hope that helps you out and good luck with your rune removal bye